After you have created a font file for use in the Alpha Baker and made any necessary alignment adjustments, you are now ready to create a design. First, make sure the alphabet font file you want to use is loaded. You can check to see what font file is currently loaded by looking at the bottom of the screen here. If there is no font file loaded, it will read No Alphabet. Next, go to the text menu heading and select Enter Copy. The lettering revision window will appear. This is the window where you type your letters, name, phrase, and so forth, make changes, and add effects. The first control in the upper left hand corner of the screen is height. The number that appears in this box is the number that was entered for letter height when the alphabet font file was created. Since we are working with stitch files, the letter height can only be increased or decreased by 20%. The next control on the lettering revision window is letter width. You can change the look of your letters by increasing or decreasing the letter width. The kerning control adjusts the spaces between the letters. Increasing the kerning moves the letters closer together, and decreasing the kerning moves the letters further apart. The slant effect can be used to slant the letters forward or backwards. The circular effects section can be used to add different arc effects to your letters. The radius control to the right adjusts the extent of these effects. The alignment section is a useful tool for aligning words or phrases when using multiple lines. The arrows indicate movement direction. The boxes above the phrase move amount determine the increments of arrow movement, increasing from left to right. The jump between letters checkbox does exactly what it says. Leave checked to have jump stitches between the letters for automatic or easier trimming. Uncheck this box to have walking stitches between letters as needed in many production setups. To create a design, click in the text box and enter your letters. Click Apply to see the letters appear on the screen and still leave the lettering revision window open for further adjustments, or just click OK to exit the lettering revision window. When using a monogramming or position-dependent font, just enter the three letters in the order you want them to appear in the text box. A neat trick when using a monogramming font in the Alpha Baker is this. Entering only one letter will put the middle letter of the alphabet on the screen, and entering just two letters will put the respective outer letters on the screen.